Good evening everyone. Tonight is a special night because we just got this box from Slice Engineering and it is a pretty exciting day and we're gonna unbox this one together just now and see what's in there. Couple stickers. Slice engineering, nice. Okay. Bubble, bubble wrap. Fully assembled Mosquito Magnum Plus. <laughs> One HUD block plus hardware, HUD block Magnum Plus, Mosquito Heat Break, Mosquito Heat Sink Magnum Plus, a thermistor. Uh, two industrial heaters and a couple of warning we don't need that <laughs> okay what's uh, what's in the box uh, this is uh, okay the list of what's in there uh, looks like we have a one millimeter nozzle two f two times 50 watt cartridge the nozzle insulator oh cool I can't wait to see what that is a thermistor 300C, hmm, I might slap in a PT100 or a PT1000 instead, because I might be going higher than that. Uh, some bronze nitride paste, heat paste, always good. Oh, looks like a 24 volt fan, looks like a 2510, all right. Uh, lots of wire for connections. Um, that's the paste, thermal paste. Yep. Uh, what else? That's uh, okay. Hot block hardware screws. More screws. Uh, mounting kit. Okay. I had screws, but that's always nice to receive. Oh, an empty one. That's a one millimeter nozzle bridge master. Empty, I guess. I guess it's on. I guess it's on the unit already. Is there anything else in the box? Um, tools. Cool. You never have enough Allen keys or hex keys, so that's good. Will be handy. Oh, another nozzle. Uh, this one is a 0 0.4 bridge master. All right, what else is in there? That's the unit, and is there anything else? Nope, just bubble wraps, and that's it. So this is the unit. Well packaged. Ooh. Oh, there's a screw right here. I don't know what that is. Let's remove that. Okay. Pre-assembled, they say. Nice looking one. That's the standard uh, mosquito heatsink, but obviously not your standard mosquito heat block. That thing is, it's massive. It, it, it's, it looks like it's heavy. But it sure is a performer. Just by the look of it, the heat block is really nice. Looks like it's coated with something, or I don't know. Screws. Here's your. Oh, there's a nozzle. Is it screwed or just. Yeah, I can move it. It's probably not screwed all the way. Okay, this one is the one millimeter. Or, yeah. Yeah, that's one millimeter. One millimeter nozzle, bridge master. Good. So that is what I think is the uh, nozzle protector, or nozzle insulator. And you put the nozzle in there. Let's see if we can, oh, that's not the good one. Okay. Remove that one. 
looks like all stainless steel boats yeah washer insulators washer on the other side okay that protects the nozzle I'm just uh, wondering if with time when this is in there's a big gap um, between the nozzle and the insulator I wonder if plastic will end up all over the place and how messy this will turn out we shall find out but it sure is a nice idea oh, because once the nozzle is inside it's gonna prevent the air uh, stupid camera sorry guys yeah so it's gonna prevent the air from blowing directly to that nozzle making making it harder to um, to heat up but I wouldn't be very worried about heating up because that thing comes with not one but two two heaters one here one here so 50 50 watt 24 volt 50 watt 24 volt and this is wire for the thermistor which is right here looks like there's another place also for another thermistor right here so I guess you could run two I don't know maybe I don't know what's the, the deal with that but yeah you could fit it on both sides I guess that's that's really nice okay so let's keep dismantling this guy Yep, we can see the two heaters and here is the thermistor I don't see anything to lock them in place like there's no screw I don't think these two are locking anything in fact yeah look at that looks like it's been pre pasted or there's some paste thermal paste already applied and it's a bit hard to move so I guess that's that's the purpose it I guess with thermal expansion they made it a bit loose so when it expands um, since it's probably not same material this is copper and thermistor I mean not thermistor but heater is probably different material so I guess that's on purpose um, let's see if this one I don't see anything that will uh, prevent that one from moving as well yeah it moves so um, you can clearly see that thermal paste was already applied so yeah that's that unit came pre-assembled they say pre-assembled so good um, let's uh, see what's in there Hmm. I don't know what's the purpose of that screw. Doesn't look like it's doing anything. Oh, I'm sure it's been engineered for something. Maybe mounting. I don't know. There's one on the other side as well. But looking at it, I, I don't see... Come on, focus. Yeah, I don't see what would be the deal with these two. Anyway, we'll see later. Um, what I'm interested in, and you probably won't be able to see that, I'm going to look and take a closer look in the throat and see if it's shiny or polished. Um, let's put some light in there. It looks super smooth. You, you won't be able to see that, uh, obviously, but eh, maybe, I don't know. Maybe with light. Hmm. Really hard time focusing with that thing. Yeah, it's hard to see, but trust me, it is. Uh, it is good. Though there's like something on the top. I don't know if you can see that right here. Probably just. Uh, I'll just clean it with uh, some clothes or yeah but the rest looks really awesome really polished so that's always good 
And what else? So yeah, I've been preparing myself um, to put in to put that unit on my printer. So I've printed uh, this mount. It's gonna come right here. Um, and also, I need to pass the wires in the back because I, from the way my printer works, um, it it won't be able to fit this way because it's gonna be too close from plastic. It, it will it would definitely melt. So I need to put it reverse side. Sorry, slide. You're not gonna see <laughs> the logo in front, but you still see that it's the Magnum. So that's the mount, and. Uh, it's only mounted with two, looks like 2.5, yeah, they are 2.5 M2.5 screws. So that's why um, I've made this mount to screw there, but I also have a cover that will go in front of it and will hold that unit and you put the fan on. Um, because with super high speed, super high acceleration, this thing gonna <laughs> it's gonna fly. So I need some. I, I don't just want to rely on those two screws. So this is what's gonna hold it in place and secure it. Because it looks steady. Let me let me remove or take out my weight and see how is the unit waiting. So let's find out. I'll just uh, hold that in my hand. Maybe if I leave it there. About 80 grams, depending, let's add the nozzle. 82.3 with the nozzle. There's no fan actually on it. So I might want to add the fan as well. But just the unit is 40. Uh, 82.3 let's add that fan because I mean oh and a nozzle protector we're back to 86 add that little guy so 92.1 grams which doesn't make it the most or the lightest hot end <laughs> it's probably the, the heaviest that I've seen so far because I've I've been running my Nova and with only good words to say about that hot end it's been performing super good um, I only have good words like I said about the Nova not a single clog during all my my print time with it but I was really excited because this this is into a different class um, looking at the price tag this hot end will probably not be for everyone but only people looking at really really high flow that don't care about weight because um, obviously that's gonna slow you down a bit on acceleration at least uh, you need a lot of power to move that amount of weight well it's not that bad but it's it's clearly heavier than any hot end that I've seen and I know from my experience that weight is really affecting uh, performance for acceleration and top speeds and stuff like that but if you don't plan going high speed but what's the point if you buy this hot end you want to go high speed um, maybe not running super high acceleration but in my case I don't really care because I'm running the O-Drive motors and there's plenty 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 of horsepower um, to move that that thing so it's not gonna be an issue for me so we are going to install that put it on the VZ bot and um, we'll see how it, it performs I'll do the, the the same test that I've done with the Nova just to see how much flow we can get out of this guy and uh, I know it's probably not the best test out there um, but at least that's that's the test I've done with the Nova, so I, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. And that's gonna be my real test for every hot end that I test there. Um, but there's also a nice feature now in mail cell is when you print, it actually gives you the actual um, um, plastic volume that you're extruding. Um, it's easy to calculate from from the from main, main cell, 
because it knows the speed of the extruder and it knows that it's 1.75 so the calculation is is not super hard to make so really nice feature there we'll, we'll use it for sure um, just now I need to dismantle all the printer so that was it for um, the actual unboxing of the unit it's uh, it's exciting because um, I really I really like just by the feel just by the look of it um, it looks like a performer to me I didn't open and unscrew everything I didn't dismantle the whole unit it's pre-assembled so I'll just leave it as is but it looks like your normal mosquito all the rest from top to heat block is the exact same uh, thing as the normal mosquito so I hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions or if you want any more information or close-up pictures or anything um, yeah oh forgot to say this look like your normal rep wrap v6 nozzle so if you have a v6 every hardened steel nozzle or any v6 nozzle will fit on this guy which is which is kind of cool um, so that way you don't have to buy extra nozzles if you already already have uh, good ones so yeah like I said if you need if you want pictures or anything any test done with it I'll be I'll be happy to answer uh, make sure you subscribe to see this bad boy in action. I'll make some video later this week or next week. And um, we'll see how it goes. I hope it's going to be performing as uh, expected. Um, I, I looked at their website and uh, claiming something around 80 millimeters, cubic millimeters per second. So um, I, I think that's the right number. But anyway, I'll verify that and uh, we'll see. So talk to you later. Uh, you guys stay safe and uh, we'll see you in another video. Thanks for watching again. Have a great night. Bye-bye.